Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly We're Eating. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. And I thank each and every one of you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. And I'm truly, truly grateful for all your wonderful, beautiful love and energy and support. And a, and a little bit of a reminder here that I do have a new channel called Tarot Tales. The link is in the description box below. On that channel, I tell the tea on celebrity, okay, and true crimes, unsolved mysteries, news stories, political news. It's all over there, and I do have one launching at noontime today, Eastern concerning that trump raid okay so head over there make sure you hit the thumbs up button the subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you do not miss a beat okay you don't want to miss out on that channel there's going to be a lot of juicy stuff okay including um i'm gonna have something coming up about princess diana for 25th anniversary for jeff and some others. Um, Gabby uh, Patel also. Okay, show me what else is here. Okay, so far we have appreciation and storm warning. <clears throat> now, appreciation doesn't have to be appreciation literally. Sometimes it is receiving something, being recognized. This could also be Okay, they're telling me appreciating the storm. You may be in the middle of a storm. You might have a storm coming. There might be a little bit of a warning here. But I feel like sometimes when a tornado comes through, it's kind of like the, this is almost like the tower energy. When, that, when it comes through and it destroys, it is like destroying things in your life that are not serving you. Things that may not be healthy. And instead of damning the storm, showing appreciation for it, for removing that which holds you back, that which is not serving you, that which is unhealthy, and forcing the change. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> so you've been dealing with a lot of doubt lately. You may have been feeling robbed. Maybe you're already, some, a lot of you are already in this storm. <clears throat> and it's saying appreciate the storm for what it is. You may feel robbed of something because of this storm. <clears throat> no, storms are not pleasant. But sometimes they're necessary. And the weather changes every 15 minutes. So keep that in mind also. You know, the weather can change. The storm is not going to last. Okay. What else do we have? We have... The Empress, yeah, that's being productive. Using using this storm for your advantage. To be productive, to grow. I feel like it is meant to be a, a growing experience. Moon energy. You know, you may not understand why the storm is happening. Or why things are going not going right. You may not understand it quite yet. It may be obscured. But I promise you... <clears throat> It will be illuminated. We have the hawk here in this card, which is the bird's eye view. It is the all-knowing. It is wise. It is. It sees things. Or is that an owl? That's an owl. I'm sorry. That's an owl. Wise old owl. For whatever reason, there is some kind of spiritual reason for this storm. You, you know, it may have stopped you and dead in your tracks. Okay, let's see how we're ending. When I do the clarifiers, we will figure that's too much energy. We will figure that out. Too much energy. Still too much. I, I when when I have a shit ton of cards fall, it is um it means confusion. So there is confusion surrounding what is going on. Storms will do that. They will cause confusion. Okay. Ace of Wands. There's a new beginning. High Priestess. And it is a spiritual thing. This is a spiritual thing. Maybe it's karma. You might be feeling lost. You might be feeling robbed of something. 
You might have been feeling deceived by somebody. Potentially a female figure, a mother figure, doesn't have to be. Could be a Taurus or a Libra that you're dealing with. But this energy is, and this is your energy of Pisces. This is your power card, your intuition. This is one of them. This is Pisces and Cancer. So, Pisces. Message from Spirit is embrace the storm. Because it is going to be transformative. You know, I said sometimes it clears things out of our life that may not be healthy, that may not be for us. We may not understand why. I was working hard on this. I was being productive. Why is it being destroyed? There's something else for you. There's some spiritual meaning behind this. There is a new beginning. So let's dig in. Um, which deck, please? I feel a more spiritual deck. They're going to make me go on a hunt. I have an idea what deck I want. Give me a second, Pisces. I apologize. Okay. This is it. Um, this is from the Book of Shadows Tarot. The Book of Shadows Tarot has two decks to it. So above, so below. Um, for your understanding purposes, they wanted the below deck because that is the mundane. Okay. Spiritual aspects of the mundane. I don't use this deck very often. Very rare. I usually use this deck in shadow work or spiritual development. Some deeper shit. But this, they called me, called this, this deck called out. Okay. Let's see what this is. Show me this Empress energy. You were working on something, Pisces. You were definitely working on something here. Okay, show me this Empress energy. Show me the Empress. We have the Three of Wands. You had a certain vision for yourself. Okay. You had a certain vision. Moon energy. There's confusion around it. And I'm tying these two together. You had a certain vision. Certain expectation. Okay. That did, that did not exactly turn out. Something wasn't as it seemed. There's some undertones here, underlying things. There's the tower. Tower has been coming up. For you guys, it's in the clarifiers. But tower energy is predominant this coming week. But it's for, it's constructive tower energy. Surprise. The unexpected. You know, you were not expecting this shit to go down. There was a tower. That's tower energy. I mentioned it before with the storm card. Tower energy that you that is, you have no explanation. You're trying to understand it. You don't know why. The moon is another um, Cancerian Pisces card. Very watery. Okay. And it is the emotions. Emotions running deep. There could be some explosive emotionality. Your emotions are going to be running high. I cannot lie to you. But to t there is something that is exploding. And I'm hearing truth just coming out of nowhere. What was hidden is being forced up to the surface. If you think like a volcano, the internals, the shit that's under the surface is forced up to the surface. Something is being forced to the surface here. And as a result, you're kind of feeling robbed. You're feeling like, why? You're feeling defeated. 
and which caused you some doubt to set in of your current path. That's what was meant to happen. The path that you were on. The tower cast some doubt on it because of something that comes to light. Something that comes up to the surface. And there's this sense of part of you may want to deny the truth. But this, I feel, is something that you can't deny. It's going to be in your face. And it was meant to be that. So you can have a fresh start in the proper direction that you were meant to go in. There is a certain spiritual path that you were meant to follow. Whether this is in relationships or career. However, a project, family, I do not know. But there was something blowing up. And it was meant to blow up. There's the Ace of Wands. Again. Twice. There's a new spark lit in. Lit in. If I could talk. I've been doing this all morning. I think I, this is the sixth reading that I've done today. And it is only a little bit after 11. So, yeah. I'm getting tongue-tied. There is a spark that is lit. A passion that comes out of all this. So that's why they're saying appreciate the storm because it's setting you up, setting the stage for something very passionate, bright future, something with great potential, okay? There's a new beginning coming. Some of you may have been waiting on something that just wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. You didn't understand why. Well, the tower's blowing it all out of the water. Okay. So. Okay, we do have the Eight of Swords here. So, you may be caught in your head or may be fearful of this new beginning. Because it feels like you've been flatlined. You know, everything you've known has been flattened to the ground. And you have to rebuild. Yes, I understand there's some anxiety over that. I want to draw one more card on this Eight of Swords. Show me this Eight of Swords. Seven of Chalices. Confusion. Exactly. You're confused. You're still this week confused over this. There are things, answers that you do not know yet. Something blew up. Something came up to the surface that you feel robbed of a beginning. But I keep hearing it was a false beginning and uh, they're not giving me specifications. For me to dig into specifically what that is, this will be an hour long reading. Okay. But there was something that was a false beginning, a false foundation. And it's shifting you into yet something else new. New beginnings are terrifying. They're frightening. But it's leading to somewhere this week, you're not going to have the answers yet. i got to be honest with you. And with this High Priestess energy, we do have the Chariot. This is about moving forward with faith and trust. Trusting your intuition. And we have the Empress again. So you're going to rise up out of this. Empress to the Empress. Knight of Pentacles. You know, it's... It's slow paced, but this is something solid. So this is leading into something greater. The tower is leading into something greater. I just get the sense that you were working on and trying to be productive in something that wasn't meant for you, Pisces. You've been waiting, anticipating reciprocation of your efforts that you were not receiving. You didn't understand why. The tower is blowing that shit out of the water. Something is coming up to the surface. But even though it rises to the surface, it still raises more questions and more anxiety. You know that it's leading you down a new path, a new start. You're just not sure where. It is causing some anxiety and confusion. But the universe is saying, trust us. We know what we're doing. You've got your soul team is saying, trust us. Have some faith. Trust your intuition. Intuitively, you know 
that this was going to happen. I think intuitively you knew, but you were in denial of it because you've worked so hard on something. Relationship, work, project, whatever. You, were, you put so much blood, sweat, and tears in it for it to crash. I think you felt the crash coming. I think you felt that there was something not quite right with it. You denied it, and the universe says, okay, you want to deny this shit? You want to deny your intuition? Huh, I'll bring that shit up to the surface here, honey. Here it is. And so, yep, and it is causing some confusion and anxiety, but do you have options opening up. Okay, this is not the end of the world. This is simply breaking down false foundations. And you're just going to have a little, have to have a little bit of faith here. Okay, this is what I have for you, Pisces. Comment below as you see fit. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Love and light.